You think the law applies to everybody but your friends? That's not fair. No, and if this was about anybody else but Sonny, you would be lecturing all of us on how we need to trust the system. Okay, first of all, I don't appreciate you coming at me like this. You know Sonny has always been good Robin, to me that and to give you. you the right to try and go into Dante's room and change his mind. But you have the right to sign him out before seeing his medical records. Was he fine? That's not the point. You wanted him out of here. Yeah, and for good reason. You know what Sonny's capable of. He's on trial for murdering his wife, Robin, and he shot an unarmed man who happens to be his you son. You know what's his son. It doesn't matter. Listen to me. I don't care how nice Sonny was back in the day. He is a professional criminal. He is responsible for so much damage in this town, the town that our daughter is growing up in, and it has to stop. Time out. Everybody just get back to work, and please review the protocol for releasing Give me a break. Dante was going to leave anyways. And now he's going to testify against his own father. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, Robin, but what is with you and these mobsters? I mean, first you defend Jason Morgan, who's waving a gun at a patient, and now you're defending Sonny, who tried murdering a cop. They're my friends, and you don't know the history. Well, what's to know? I am with Patrick. When you shoot an unarmed man who's standing right in front of you, you are not a nice person. All right, you are a criminal, and you should be prosecuted. Well, the Corinthos crowd can't be too pleased with your last ride. Warehouse 21 will be heavily guarded. You need me for life insurance. Life insurance? How does that work? You're hoping the guards will know that Luke and Sonny are old friends. So they won't shoot me, and by extension, you. The only friends that Sonny Corinthos cares about are the ones that he can order around. And last time I checked, Luke Spencer doesn't take orders from anybody. So Sonny doesn't care who your father is. And as far as your life insurance theory goes, I don't believe in life insurance. I simply need you for backup. Well, my dance card is full. Really? Could have fooled me. All right, I gotta get going. Lark and Riverview, last warehouse on the left. Again, I will make it worth your while. And whatever you're selling, we don't want any. I should thank you for giving me just cause to enter the building. Well, I'm always happy to be of service to the local gendarme. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you yesterday, what happened to your head? Oh, it's anger management. What are you doing here? Somebody seems to be taking advantage of Sonny's legal troubles. They're moving in on his territory. At least one of his shipments has already been hijacked, and there may be plans to take another one. I'm just looking for cigars. And you think they might be in here? My man Carlos is totally unreliable these days. I know that uh, Sonny smokes Cuban and hasn't been ported, so I... Uh... Oh, the hell with that. Look, that shipment of Sonny's that you're looking for, it's here. If the judge revokes bail, we're going to have to grab Sonny, get him to Canada, and then put him on a plane to South America. All right, well, can you shut down the red lights from the courthouse to the highway to give us a straight shot? Yes, temporarily. Okay, and then we're, we are going to have to grab Sonny in front of the courthouse. Hey, surely the authorities won't, won't take Mr. Sonny. It the doesn't, then get me a layout of the courthouse, okay? And if you have to, you're going to have to seal the side doors because we need to make sure Sonny comes out the front. Okay, no doubt Stone Cold realizes that if Mr. Sir takes flight, it is an okay. implied admission of guilt. Spinelli, these are Sonny's orders. It's just my job to make it happen. Your Honor, I realize that I'm not officially on this case, but to try this case at an arraignment could not only poison the water, it could set the stage for an appeal. I'm sure you're familiar with my appeals record. Your Honor, I am. Your appeals record is very low. Well, should we at least entertain the notion that I know what I'm doing? I, I apologize, Your Honor, but she is still... That's it. Miss Davis, you can immediately step up as co-counsel or you can leave the courtroom. Uh, you got... Uh, Five seconds. I've, I've already been offered to uh, act as co -counsel. And I will gladly accept your offer if you will agree to join my firm. Three seconds. Love you, please. Okay, fine. All right, I'll, I'll join your firm. Welcome aboard. Your Honor, getting back to the matter at hand, may I please question Detective Falconeri? Your Honor, bail has been set. Mr. Corinthos has done nothing to indicate that he's a flight risk. That may well be true, but Ms. Walsh has every right to ask that bail be revoked. I need more information before I can make a decision. Ms. Walsh, you may call Detective Falconeri to the stand. 